Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Lost. Guys, thanks for joining us for the Hearth and Home playthrough, and buddy, it's good to have you back. I'm glad you were able to join us for another episode. Good to be back. Glad to be back. Huh. Yeah. We've got Lost out here fishing. We've actually got all the food and stuff we're going to need. I'm all decked out, guys. We've got some tasty meats, some healing potions. I got some good food. All our good gear. We gave Lost our old silver sets. Looking pretty good, and we've actually been out here just trying to... Trying to let him fish. He's never fished before. This was his first time fishing. He's already caught a couple of perch. And a pike. Oh, you got a pike too? That's awesome. Yeah. Right? Can you just sit here and chill? Like, I, I put shows on on my phone and just chill and fish for hours. <laughs> I'm having a good time. It's pretty relaxing. But guys, we're going to make Loss his own cape. We'll give him a little bit of option and his customization over here and let him, you know, make his character look how he wants. Well, because all the capes are, um, all the capes give the same armor, you know, just FYI, you know, buddy. Um, so it's really just about aesthetic. Um, so I'm going to give you the option of making whatever cape you want. We've got a whole slew of capes. And once we get the capes, guys, uh, once we get uh, Loss his cape, we're going to set sail. Um, I'm just getting ready for the Yagluth fight. We, we're going to have to fight our way back to the boat from my planes outpost. So I'll get to show that off a little bit. You guys saw a little bit of that in the build video in the last episode. But once we make it to the boat, we're going to set sail and just hang out on the oceans, guys. We're going to hang out in the oceans. We're going to hang out in the storms. It's going to be an exciting day. <laughs> Maybe a little risky, but, you know, that's that's part of the adventure, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, have you ever been out on the seas at Storm? Have you ever sailed in this game, actually? I have not. You haven't? Oh, okay. That's going to be really exciting. Yeah, we gave uh lost the Draugr Fang, too. He is the archer. Did you know? I don't know if you knew this, but there is an, actually an archer set in the game now, kind of. Like armor? Yeah, there's an armor set that gives bow skill. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Um, the armor isn't as good, and I haven't leveled it up, so I kind of wanted to give you the, the silver armor for today, but... Yeah, uh, let's go make you a cape. So, here are your options. You've got the cape I'm wearing. This is a locks cape. I love locks. Love locks to death. Um, there are linen capes, and they're pretty, they're, uh, they're pretty, they, I don't know how to explain. Actually, pick this up, and then you'll be able to make one and go see it in the, oh, that's what we should do, guys. Let's just have Lost pick up all the things he needs to see, all the different cape options. Oh, I guess you can't see troll hide. I don't have any troll hide around here, guys. Troll hide makes a blue cape. Um, there's a wolf fur cape, a linen cape, and the deer hide cape, and then the locks cape that we're wearing, which... Where is that hiding? It's on It's on here somewhere. Oh, no, what? there it is. Boxcape, yeah. Maybe uh, the wolf one. Hey, you want to wear the wolf cape? I like the sound of that. What did I do with my wolf cape? I don't know. I'll just make you one real quick. All right, guys, we've got Lost's cape. Let's go ahead and give that to him, and we can set out on our adventure. Here you go, man. Try this thing on. Tell me what you think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, isn't that cool? Little wolf head. The wolf head. It's awesome. I love that thing. All right, guys. Doing good on food. I might cook some more Perfect. fish wraps with those uh, fish you caught. But uh, let's see if we can sleep again. And then we'll head out on our adventure in the morning. It's going to be quite dangerous. But it'll be a lot of fun. But we can't sleep. If we, we spent all day just hanging out and talking. All right, everybody. Oh, ah. I was like, flip out of bed in the morning. It's a vigorous... It's a vigorous way to wake up. I haven't really played a whole lot, guys, since the last episode. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out. Oh, wait. Where am I going? That portal we need is actually upstairs. Make sure you've had your breakfast. Helmet's on. Oh, yeah. Looking good. All right. We're good to go, guys. The portal's actually upstairs. I forgot. I put it in the bedroom. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get out to the Plains Outpost near Yagluth Summon Sign. Summon area. All right, welcome to the Yagluth eventual boss summon fight area. It's kind of over there in the background. You can see the claw hand reaching out toward the sky, right? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, Very I'm, ominous. It is. Yagluth is a really intimidating fight. He's the he's the last boss in the game right now. Uh, guys, I haven't built much. We just got to build this little hut. We're going to survive out here later. Um, I'll have to come back and fill it with stuff and, well, probably not much. We really just needed a portal and uh, some place to get a comfort rested bonus. But uh, my boat is off in this direction. So we're going to have to make a run across the plains. Hopefully nothing gets us. And then we'll set sail on the ocean. Yeah, let's go swing by Yagluth's summon area. Check this out, man. Ooh, swing left, avoid the tar pits. <laughs> yeah, this is where you summon Yagluth. And he's ready. I could summon him right now if I wanted to. It would be a very bad idea, a very poor decision, but we could. 
We could. All right, well, let's keep moving. Let's avoid the locks. Guys, really not looking to pick a fight. Really just want to get out in the ocean. I'm looking for, you know, the best food. We need a lot of health. We need a lot of stamina. Looking for good food before the Yagluth fight. Also have a bunch of fire resistance potions brewing at home. Yeah, have you seen this thing? This is called a porcupine. Did I have Let's this? See. Did I have this last time? <laughs> no. This thing is brutal. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, <clears throat> it's pretty mean. There it is. Home sweet home. And guys, I'm not gonna lie. I just realized I didn't pack a portal. Uh, hopefully, there's one on the boat. And if there's not, then whoops. No dang. I usually keep one on the boat. Is there? No, there's not. All right, well, in that case, I'm probably just gonna pick where we sail a little carefully. We might sail toward a house, you know? That way, if anything happens, um, <laughs> hopefully I can get back to one of us. There we go. Fix the boat up a little. It was a little damaged. All right, guys, Loss has never sailed in this game. This is one of the better sailing games, I think. I think the only other game I've played with sailing as fun as this one might have been Atlas, which was like that other kind of like arc style game. But man, I don't know. That one, that one was not my favorite. Uh, just hanging out and sailing was the best part. Yeah, the sailing was the best part. And the instruments, like I remember just chilling on the ocean, playing instruments and getting drunk. That was really like the best part of that game actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was cool. That was fun. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, as usual, we're having trouble getting the boat away from shore because that is one of the most difficult things to do in Valheim. So we'll be back as soon as yeah. I get us out into the sea. No, but really, though. Looks like we're caught in a little... Yeah, it's a little sand dune. Sand bar here. But the wind is pushing us toward it. I can't back up or anything. Okay, new plan, new plan, new plan. Oh, there it goes. Just need the water to pick up a little bit. There we go, guys! Now we're setting sail. Um, where is... You know what? Ooh, guys, I don't know where we're going to sail, actually. This is going to be a difficult decision. Oh, there's a serpent right there! Guys! Serpent dead ahead! We just got out here! All right, so whittle it down to, to low health. Ah, but make sure to kill it while it's near the boat. Guys, I wonder if we can get some serpent scales. Can we sail it close to shore? Oh, he's gonna bite the boat pretty good. If we can get him to follow us to shore and kill him on the shore, he'll drop scales on the beach we can pick up. Nice. Ooh. Guys, that's when you know the storm is bad. Where you go? Where you go? Oh, he's right behind us. Yeah, wow. All right, jump off the boat right here, behind you. If you jump off, it'll stop moving. There, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's kill him here. Yeah. Get him. Get him. I've got him. Ah! Finish him. Finish him right here. It's perfect. He's right on the sand. Oh, yeah. Guys, we did it. That was awesome. And the scales. Guys, we got more serpent scales. All right, guys. Eight serpent scales and seven serpent meat. That's what I want because, man, serpent meat uh, makes this serpent stew, which is like, I think I actually gave you some the last time you visited. That is like the best health food in the game. Or one of them. All right, let's stock all this back on the boat. Do we get back on the boat? Oh, there's a ladder right here. You just got to kind of walk up to it and use it. It's a little, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to try and sail? It's a, it's a little tricky, but it's pretty fun. Uh, I'm good. Okay. All right, guys, let's get back out on the ocean. I'm gonna try and twist this to the north and sail, hopefully closer back to like one of my bases. <laughs> uh, whatever you do, don't jump on the boat because the momentum will just like carry you and you'll you'll fall right off. You know any good sea shanties? Not right off the top of my head. <laughs> I always uh, I always go back to the the. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? But I feel like I've done that too many times. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you still got that fishing pole? Yeah. I guess you could fish. I don't know. I haven't really ever caught fish in the ocean. Yeah, I don't actually know if there are fish out here. I'm not going to lie. I've never really seen any. Like, I always watch the water, but I don't, I don't know. I think they only really spawn closer to beach, but 
But, you know, I would like to see bigger fish in the ocean. Like, I would love to see bigger, like, just a, you know, what? I don't know. What would you catch in the ocean that would be, like, a big, big prize? Give lots of fish meat. Una. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, I think I see another one off to our right, actually. Yeah. Oh, I wish the wind would pick up a little. Oh, All right. Yeah. yeah, let's just kill this one at sea. The scales will sink if we kill him at sea, but uh, I'm not as concerned with the scales. I really just want the meat. Come here, big guy. Rawr! Yeah, right back at you. Oh, yeah, bring him closer to the boat. Closer to the boat. I'm going to stop the boat. Nice. Oh, let him come back. Come here, buddy. I don't want to have to swim too far to get his, his meat. Right there, finish him. Oh, he went under. Oh, uh, let him come back. Come here, come here, come here. There he is, perfect, perfect. Yeah! Nice! I didn't even have to leave the boat. Look at that, we can just grab it off the side, kind of. <laughs> Man, the water in the storm. Nice. Nice, guys, we got another six pieces. 13 serpents meat, that's amazing, actually. Hey, wait, there's another piece. Ah, I'm getting it. Man overboard. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> there we go, okay, we're good, we're good. All is well. Why is there wood floating out here in the ocean? Did you drop some wood? I just tossed it. Oh, okay, yeah, I was. Some, some reason I had Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish we could get some wind. Not doing good. Go dangle your feet over the side. Tempt the serpents. Can I sit on these things? Oh yeah, it's actually probably safer. <laughs> Especially with my internet. <laughs> and in the storm, I think we have had the storm just like lift people out of the boat before because of the water. And the water is being super choppy, guys. Look at this storm. Ooh, a little foggy. Man, it is always foggy in the mornings, because I think we are transitioning in the morning. And yeah, guys, wow, the fog has set in. I can't see anything. Dude, see if you can jump up on the front little, uh, what is that called up there? The little little headpiece. You can, you can literally latch onto it. Let me slow the boat down, make it a little easier for you there. Yeah, you can grab onto it and ride up there nice and safe. There you go. Yeah, let me know if there's any land in front of us so I don't run into anything, because Wow, guys, it is dark out here all of a sudden. Gosh, guys, the boat has taken quite a beating. Oh, my gosh, the boat is down below half health. Dude, I got to pull us over somewhere and go fix this thing. Uh, if this thing gets destroyed on us in the middle of the ocean, we are not going to make it. <laughs> all right, as soon as we get close enough to this little patch of land, hop off. Yeah, there we go. Watch the leeches in the water. Nasty leeches. You know, guys, I need these. We're gonna need to make uh, blood pudding for the final boss fight. Need lots of blood bags. <laughs> yeah, blood pudding. Isn't blood pudding delicious? I would love to try some blood pudding. Oh, crap! That's the best things I've ever had. I want some. There we go. Oh, another leech. Gosh, there's just too much going on in the swamps all the time, guys. Hey, what happened to the wood? I need to make a workbench. Ah, crap. Hang on, man. Play defense for a second. There's a huge leech. Yeah, they're all over the place, actually. And they might break the boat if I'm not quick enough. All right, workbench. Workbench down. Invalid placement. No, come on. Workbench down. Thank you. Fix the boat. All right, boat's good to go. We can hop in and get out of here. But let's take care of these leeches first, because the blood bags would be nice. And they will just chase us in the boat and hack us to death. So that's fun. Yeah, guys, for the final fight, I'm thinking Serpent Stew, Lox Meat Pie, and Blood Pudding. That is a hearty meal. Yeah. Very bready, it sounds like. <laughs> Very thick, all of it. Oh, hey, a Leviathan! You ever seen one of these? Oh. Oh, man, guys, let's go show Lost the Leviathan. 
<laughs> you know what else we didn't bring out here, guys? Is the heart balloon, actually. I bet Lost would have liked that. Yeah, man, check this thing out. All right, go ahead and hop off. Ow, ow, boat, the boat. That's all right. I'm going to fix this thing up. So, yeah, this is a Leviathan. Um, oh, we can't build on a Leviathan. Can't fix the boat. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is a Leviathan. They, uh, they kind of wander around in the ocean, and they pop up. And uh, I don't know if you have a pickaxe. I don't know if we gave you a pickaxe for this adventure, but you pickaxe these little abyssal barnacles off of them, and you can make cool stuff. You make special weapons and whatnot. But, uh, I have a pickaxe. Oh, you do? Go ahead and get you some abyssal barnacle. Yeah, it makes a pretty awesome uh, harpoon and knife. And actually, if I was smart, I would have brought a harpoon because you can harpoon a serpent and, like, hold it while someone, like, shoots it or, you know, you can drag it to shore. Ah, there's that sunrise. Oh, there it is. Uh... Oh, he's angry. Yeah, they don't like it when we pick their, their barnacles. <laughs> but the chitin is good. Oh, is this it, guys? Is this it? Oh, look at the big guy. Leviathans are awesome. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Back to the boat! <laughs> Back to the boat! <laughs> He's swimming away. I just think Leviathans are one of the coolest things in the game. How awesome is that? Right, just this Pretty cool. giant creature out here that you can harvest. Like, that's just so fun. That is actually looking like swamps dead ahead. What do you think? Let me know when you see those big tall trees populate. Yeah. Got dark all of a sudden. Yeah, it says we're in the Mistlands, and the Mistlands is extremely dark. I don't know why it says we're in the Mistlands. This is definitely ocean, but hey, that's okay. But yeah, oh, yeah, no, I can see them now. Those definitely look like swamp trees. All right, guys, we're just going to crash the boat into the first, uh, first little spot I can find. We'll go hunt us a whole bunch of, uh, not serpents, <laughs> um, leeches. All right, get ready to hop out. Right here. This is good. All right, let me mark where the boat is so we don't forget. And let's go find some leech. So they're all just in the water, so we're just going to have to wander around, you know, and uh, lure them to us in the water. And we're going to have to deal with these guys as we go. Are you fishing for leech? <laughs> uh, uh, excellent. Check that out. Could be worth a try. Not these guys. Ooh, a one star Draugr. Nice counter. Not even using a shield. Be careful of the leech attacks. They will poison you. Oh, is that a two star leech? Awesome. Blood bags forever. Mm. Nice. I didn't even see it. Oh, did you not? That's no good. Yeah, let's wander up and down the shoreline. I feel like there's usually a lot of leeches kind of like that spawn on the shore and out in the water out here. And I've already got 10 blood bags on me. That's awesome. Yeah, let's just wander up and down the shore see what we can find. Oh, here's a problem area. Let's go deal with this. What is it? It's just uh, it's just a bunch of like mob spawners. So like it's just a bunch of Draugr and skeleton spawns. Oh yeah, time to do battle. We're pretty tough, though. This shouldn't be very difficult. Boom! Yeah! Oh, yeah, and we're both wielding weapons with spirit damage, so all the undead things hate us right now. Oh, yeah. And that's what it's like to farm stuff when you're, when you're really tough. It's not a problem anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm out here walking waist deep in the water. There's not a single leech, guys. I think uh, we may have cleared them all out. Any leeches anywhere? Man, oh man. All right, guys, well, the swamp is- a little is, light. Yeah, it's getting a little lighter, and the swamp is actually getting bigger, so I'm, I'm, I'm 
having hopes here. We can probably find some something else here. Hey, what are you? Ow! Get him, get him. Ha! Uh-oh, put your sword away. <laughs> My sword. Hey, do the do the wheel click with the sword. Wheel click. Yeah, there's an alternate attack if you click in your third button. Yeah, look at that. Oh. And that really hurts people. Oh, there's the new one. Oh, what is that? That is an abomination. They are brand new to the game. Aren't, good. Aren't they awesome? Let's get it. Come on, Megan. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're I'm tough. We're back. pretty tough. We're pretty tough. We've got this. Come on, abomination. He's going for you. Yeah, that has reach. Boom, boom. Come on, big guy. Hit me, hit me. Hey -ya! Huh. Golf swing. Boom. I'm not doing much, actually. I should be using the axe. Arrows aren't doing much. No, Pierce and Blunt really don't do anything to him. I'll switch to the axe. We'll take him down. There's a wraith or something. Uh-oh, that's a problem, actually. Uh-oh, stamina. Oh, stamina. Oh, and I've got guys on me. Okay, you deal with them. I'll I'll deal with the abomination and wraith. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, guys, it was all supposed to be fun and games. Ah. That was it. Oh. oh, gosh. This is bad. No, we can't die out here. We can't die out here. I don't have I a portal. <laughs> I got all the guys off me. Okay. Oh, I just finished the Wraith off, but I've got no stamina to block this abomination right now. Woo. Chop is a... Get him, get him. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, your sword actually probably works better against him with the slash damage. Woo. But yeah, those are the things you need to hunt and, and farm, and you pick up those roots, and you make that root armor, which gives you that extra bow skill. It's kind of like the new, the new, like, you know, archery bonus class. It's pretty sweet. It also has extreme pierce resistance everybody keeps telling me, so apparently it works really good in the plains to block all those death skeeto stabs. Hate those guys. Yeah, death skeetos are a pain. I hate them for the locks, man. I um, I, I was riding my locks the other day. Have you ever rode a locks? We might have to put loss on a rocks before the end of the episode, guys. Um, but yeah, the death skeetos are faster than the locks, and they always stab the locks first. Like the locks can defend themselves, but man, the death skeetos always hit them. They always hit them first. So if you do any kind of traveling in the plains, it's just a matter of time before you know you get poked to death. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Makes me kind of wish they would let us do some kind of root armor or ancient bark armor that had a uh, pierce, you know, resistance like the armor itself, so that maybe the locks wouldn't take so much damage from the. The death skeetos, like they'd still take damage from the fullings, obviously. Oh, guys, it looks like we're kind of running out of swamp. Ah, I just want more. I want more blood bags. I don't know that the, it'll probably make enough for the boss fight. I really don't need a lot of blood pudding. Can't jump over stuff like you can. Oh, it's probably my jump skill. Uh, as you play and do more, and you know, you level up your skills, and I think the jump skill really does double after a while. The height that you can reach. Oh, leech behind you. Ah. Hello, leech! I'll take that blood bag. Yeah, I'm not sure what your jump skill's at, but I've, I've, you know, I've been, you know, my character's just been around a little longer. We should be good. Oh, yeah, guys, look at that. 22 blood bags, 26 blood bags with losses contribution, and 13, uh, serpent meat. That's not a bad haul for the day. All right, guys, we just got to make it back to my plane's base, bring all this food home, and I'll have plenty of food to cook up and really, really fight Yaglu. That's going to be exciting. Uh, got to wait for those fire resistance potions to fix up, and I really do want to finish up that uh, comfort base that I've got going out there. I built a little bit. You kind of saw a sneak peek if you saw it in the background while we were fishing at the beginning of the episode, but it's definitely not built yet. It's not ready. So uh, we'll save that for the next episode. Let me get some more work time in on it. All right, guys. Make sure you've had a meal. The planes are very, very unforgiving. Go ahead and hop off when you're good. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. go. Hey, what are you doing out here, little green goblin? I don't think he knew we were here. Finish him. Hey! 
Yeah! Nice. All right, let me grab this meat. Let's get all this stuff home. All the goods. What a haul today. The power of buttons shall help us. I guess we could fight some stuff on the way. You want to fight some locks and death skeetos and everything? Dude, see if you can shoot a death skeeto. Bop! You Is see? that the only one out, Skeeto? You know? Uh, there's another one, but it's really low to the ground right now. Fullings! Come here, come here, come here! <laughs> Man, what is up with them? Aha! <laughs> Stuck in the water. Yeah, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him die slowly from the poison. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch him. Yeah. Horrible way to go. Slow death. Oh yeah, there's one. You. <laughs> and if you miss the shot, you may hit a locks. So that's exciting. <laughs> Get it. Ooh, he dipped. Oh, it moved right when I shot. It did. Oh, he moved again on you. He's coming at you. The point blank death skeeto yeah. shot. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, let's fight some locks. Let's both try and get like a sneak shot on this one closest to us. And then I'll go in and start trying to melee it. We'll get some locks first, some locks meat for my pies. That'd be good. You shoot first. Yeah. Nice. Ah, I always feel bad beating on locks, guys. You know how much I love locks. But the locks meat pie and the locks fur is too good to pass up. Kaboom! Uh-oh. Ow! That one hurt a little. Get him. I'm out of stamina, guys. There we go. One down. Two to go. Guys, this is how you hunt locks. Nice and easy. Lure them over one at a time. Ow! Block it correctly, though. That helps. The parry. If you know the Valheim parry, that's all you need. Oh, get him, get him, get him! Okay. Oh, I didn't think that poison got him. Ah, start shooting that next one. Lox meat pie is the best pie. Yeah. Boom! Yeah! Not a problem. Uh-oh, no stamina. Ah! Yeah, I gotta get my stamina back. Okay, good to go now. Hey, wait, where are you going? Come here. Come here, Loxling. Hold still. Hold. Yeah, there we go. Hi. Yeah. Nice. Doing good. No? That's okay. Hey, what is this stone doing? Get out of here. Yeah, we don't need any of that. I've got plenty of build material. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. We'll just run back through the plains. May fight another locks or two, but that's pretty good, actually. I've got 12 locks meat. I think it only takes like one or two for a pie, so that should be good. Only 30 seconds on the Ike Gear bonus. Yeah, let's just sprint toward home. Uh, once you can see the claws of Yagla's hand coming out, you can you kind of know where, where home is. Just just sprint that way as fast as you can while we have Ike Gear's bonus. Guys, we'll see you back at the base. Oh! Hey! So I, I've, I've talked to Timely about this. I don't know if I've talked to you about this. So Death Skeetos, let me ask you something. What do you what do you think about the idea if you perfect parry a death skeeto, especially with a shield? I think it just dies. Yeah, it makes sense. It's just a little bug, right? Like you swat it with your shield. So if you get that perfect parry, it's just like whatever. You know, you just like swat it aside. And I just think that should squish it. I think that would be the coolest thing ever, actually. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get all this goods back to the base. Lots and lots of goods. Oh, yeah, man. Thanks for coming with and getting the haul. That's awesome. Do you want to ride a locks around the plains before you go? I'm sure. <laughs> It'll be fun. Trust me. Let me put all this food away. All right, let's get out here. Come on out to the locks. The locks pen. Oh, yeah, guys. They've been battling locks out here. I mean, they've been battling fullings. Look at the coins and the and the green, the, the black metal out here. They do, the, 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 the fulling spawn out here, which is aggravating to me. Yeah, man, here, I'll give you a saddle. Go ahead and pick you a locks. And let's go for a ride. Okay, pop that down. Make us an exit, there we go. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I haven't taken any of them out yet. <laughs> there we go, can you squeeze by? Uh-oh, well. 
this took a bad turn immediately. Hang in there, guys! Uh-oh, guys, I can't get out. I can't get out. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, everybody's all right. We're okay. Everybody did fine. <laughs> we just took a little bit of damage. Yeah. The locks do defend themselves. You actually can't tell them to attack or anything, but they will just attack themselves. They'll bite things, you know. Yeah, riding locks is the best. Let's go fight some pullings on locks. The only unfortunate thing is locks seem to die pretty easy. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, let's go wander around. They kind of work. Going, they kind of work like a boat. Like if you click, if you press forward once, that's like first gear. Press forward again, that's like second gear. And if you hold like uh, shift, they'll sprint. If you want them to stop, you just hit back once. And then to steer, I just I just hold in the right click and pull to the left or right, and that seems to steer them just fine. It's a weird little steering mechanic, but I really like it actually. Let's see what we can find out here. Whoa! What just happened? I get tarred by what? what happened? Whoa, those are some sniper oh. shots. Yeah, you just ride. You can't really do anything about it. Oh man, that poison is gonna kill my locks. Well, we'll ride the locks until they get, until they die, guys. That's my only beef with them, is it's so hard to keep them alive, like. I don't know. I almost, I almost unfortunately consider them more like horses now. Like they're not meant for combat, almost. Like you know, like you almost kind of just want to ride it to get around, more so than you want to ride it to like actually do battle with. You know, especially with the mosquitoes. I have an issue with locks and mosquitoes. Yeah, you've got your glowing bow. I got my glowing axe. Riding our awesome locks. Hey, I hear, I hear foolings. Hiya! Did that hit him? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Here come the pooling. So the best thing I've, I've seen to do to get the locks to start fighting is just to stop them. Like, stop them from moving forward, stop steering them. And then they'll just kind of, like, auto-initiate combat, which is great. They're not the best at it, but it's still fun. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's not bad. Go ahead. Uh. Let's move up to the top of the hill here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Right there. This is the starting line. I'll ping it again right before we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Get set and go. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, locks. They do have a limited stamina bar. <laughs> Although they can run for a while, it's pretty cool. Oh, there it is, there's home. That really wasn't that far, man. They move pretty quick, actually. I'm gonna go put these locks uh, probably out front. Yeah, we'll put them out front. Ah! And now I'm stuck on a train. <laughs> oh, that was, I don't feel good about that win. Nobody won. Catch another one before I go. Yeah, get some more fish time in there, man. Well, all right, everybody. I guess I'm going to go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today. Lost Buddy, it's been awesome having you come along for another journey. Thanks for helping me get all this serpent meat and uh, blood pudding. And I know I'm not cooking it for you, but hey, it was super helpful having you along and helping me get all that stuff. I feel really ready for the Yagloon fight. Thanks, man. Yeah, definitely. Thanks uh, for having me again. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us, do me a favor. Smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more adventures in Valheim or in Modheim. If you haven't seen my Modheim series, guys, go check that out. That's a really crazy modded version of Valheim with lots of crazy stuff going on. But besides that, guys, in the next episode of Hearth and Home, we'll be taking on Yagluth. I've got a few more building things I'd like to get done because I want a perfect comfort bonus when I fight that guy. And I'm going to go and cook all this food. But we're going to go out there mano y mano, me versus Yagluth. And, uh... Yeah, it's going to be exciting, guys. Stay tuned if you want to see that. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great day. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out.